there are a lot of things I need to catch up on. There are potatoes that have been waiting to be canned for two weeks. I also need to clean the kitchen up a little bit, bake bread, and just in general put things back where they belong. I'm still pretty sick and I've got my period, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to see how far I get. Number 70. Kitchen Ketchup Chaos. Late February 2024. Ad-free versions coming soon. Sign up to the newsletter now. The link is in the description. My husband collected quite a few Judas ears, which were in full season while we were down with the flu. I'd barely had enough energy to clean and dehydrate them, so they were in random jars. I added them all to a proper jar and happily saw just how many we had. With the mushrooms off my counter, I worked on some bread. I'd started a pre-ferment that morning. Time to turn that into dough. Yes, there is often milk in my bread, the only leftover from a soft bread recipe. Sourdough starter, water, flour, salt, and sometimes milk. That's that. Marvin can handle the kneading while I do other things. The only downside to having Marvin deal with the dough is that he's loud. I hate noise. Speaking of machines, Bob isn't properly cleaning the dishes at the moment. The surgery will be in the next episode. Ten minutes later, Marvin was done with the dough and I was ready for the noise to stop. I needed the bowl for other noisy things, so I transferred the dough to a bowl instead. The dough was a tiny bit on the runny side, but it's fine. It'll make great bread. After two weeks out of commission, I had to deal with a lot of carrots and beets in the fridge drawer. I even had to add some to the compost. I'm sorry, little roots. I didn't mean to waste you. Marvin made quick work of those that were still good. We mix Pepper's dog food ourselves. He'll be happy about these carrots and beet shreds. Later that day, I formed the bread rolls. The next morning, I chopped the potatoes and messed up. I kept adding potatoes to the chute without paying attention to the bowl and broke that stupid plastic part again. This time, it's all on me. Well, except for the blame that goes to whoever designed this machine so breakable. Resigned, I disassembled the unit. I'll have to order the part again. 17 bucks gone. Charging that much for a sacrificial part is what really makes me mad at them. Well, at least the fries looked good. I had managed to chop about half of the potatoes before I messed up, so it was still a lot easier this way. But once again, I was chopping by hand because the machine didn't work. I chopped and chopped and chopped. Now that I had started, I had to finish at least a can or load. I had to get the potatoes into jars. By the time I was done, my back was calling me an idiot. 
If you want to know how and why I canned potatoes, there's an entire video on that. This time, I used no vinegar at all. Slowly, the canner was filling up. I was getting close to calling it a day. I've got this really bad sinus headache and focusing on anything for long is just really, really hard. And then I can't look at even like the lightest bit of light and it's just like a migraine, but I know it's just the sinus is being stuffed and it's really annoying. And I just focused on the potatoes for way too long. So it's gotten a lot worse over the last hour or so. So I'm going to head back to the couch and do absolutely nothing for the rest of the day. But the first batch and a half of potatoes is done. The first batch is in the canner. I've got some work prepared for tomorrow for the second batch and then I just gotta finish half a batch. I can manage that. So almost done. Okay, let's get to it. I have half a batch of potatoes to do. I need to take the old batch out of the canner and replace it with what I prepared yesterday and prepare that final half batch. I also need to exchange the stove, which is broken again, and we're switching to a different one, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that work with the kitchen space. Yeah, lots to do. Still don't feel very well, but we're gonna get to it. I removed the first batch from the canner, took off the clips and stacked them to let them dry for labeling. I moved the prepared jars from the fridge to the water bath. I was so happy to only have half a batch left. I quickly set up the new stove as I needed the packaging for the return of the old one. It's a bit bigger than the old one, but it also has two equal large plates, so I'm hopeful. I chopped the rest of the potatoes. For potatoes that had been stored for two weeks after washing, most still looked great. Only three or four potatoes at the very bottom of the bowl had given up. Thankfully, little waste. It's actually quite simple. Let me reopen this. So we have the actual jar, we have the jar lid, and the seal itself is individual because the seal is the only thing that you regularly need to replace. So the seal you can buy individually instead of buying the lids with all that aluminum, you just buy the seal. And you don't have to replace the seal after every canning process, so that's nice too. And then when you're ready to can, you just put these little clips on instead of what you would screw on your ring. We just have these little clips. And what you can see, let me get one of the ones that I canned overnight here, is you see that this tab goes all the way down. It has this flip flip to the bottom. It also moves a lot harder, whereas the unsealed one is going straight and it's very wobbly wobbly. And after canning, this is gonna look like this. Okay, let's get this back. Seal up this final jar. And we're ready to can. Another thing that's probably really weird to you is that I fill my canner to the max line, so all the jars are submerged. I know you don't do that in huge parts of the US, but that's how both the jar manufacturer and the manufacturer of the canner say to do it and it means that I don't have to refill anything if I'm gonna do a three-hour water bath. That's worth it to me. With all the potatoes done, I sat down to watch a political debate as this one affected me personally. The opposition fought tooth and nail. While Pepper dozed, I tried not to get pissed off. In the end, we won. I still can't believe it. Later, I return to the kitchen to shelf the jars. All these potatoes I canned over the last few days. So happy because this is gonna be so many easy meals. I make 
everything with canned potatoes. I mean, I do use raw potatoes very occasionally, but usually I use these. I use these for potato salad, mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, potato crotta. I use canned potatoes for all of that. They never last long. This is a convenience food where I have to work hard for a day or two, and then I don't have to worry about potatoes for weeks. I love canned potatoes. Help me make these videos. Go to rootsandcalluses.com support or follow the link in the description below.